I want to play the Rek'Sai. But the best move is just to attack. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rek'Sai Lissandra to start off a stream where we got four viewer submitted decks. These are all made by viewers today. This one looks pretty cool. It's something different, right? We're playing a Rek'Sai deck that doesn't have any other lurkers in the entire deck. We're going to be playing kind of a Shurima Freljord uh, control deck with some thralls and stuff like that. But we're going to try Rek'Sai in here as well. And so you're probably thinking, well, why would we play Rek'Sai without those other Lurkers? And that's because we still have Battle Fury. We're going to be playing three copies of Battle Fury. It's a great combo with Rek'Sai, where if you uh, you know play a Rek'Sai and then put a Battle Fury on it, now it's 11 power, it attacks, it gets to 12 power, plus it also gets itself plus one plus zero, so 13 power. You level it up, you create the Lurkers in hand. It's also 13 power overwhelm, you know, so absolutely huge <laughs> for, you know, it'd be, I guess, a 13 11 with a Battle Fury on it, overwhelm, that also just creates three Lurkers for you. So also be a, like a draw three. So really cool. So we got that combo. So we got three Rek'Sai, three Battle Fury. Um, but then Battle Fury can also be used on a lot of other things. We can put it on Ruin Runner with that Overwhelm and Spell Shield. That's a great card to Battle Fury. And then also just the Thralls that we're going to be making with Lissandra. Um, you know, we're going to have like some different Thralls uh, that, you know, will take a little while to make normally, but we'll have the Clock Hand in here to help, uh, you know, uh, help those Thralls go a little faster. But yeah, we're not necessarily like just a Thrall deck, you know, like no Draclorn in here, no like regular Frozen Thrall. Um, you know, because we're, we're just going to have like some good Shurima cards, good Freljor cards. We'll have good interaction with Merciless Hunters and Bakai Sand Spinner with some Vulnerable. Avalanche Blighter Ravine doing two damage to all sorts of stuff. Um, drawing some extra cards with Sentry, Entreat, Preservarium, and Frostbinding stuff, Ice Will Archer, Flash Rees, right? So it's a little combination of everything. We got a good Pump Spell with Shapestone. Little combination of everything. And then also removal plus ways to buff up Lissandra and Rek'Sai with the Siphoning Strike. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. Let's try it out. Rek'Sai Lissandra looks like a very interesting one. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. And we got Sivir Zed to start the day. Open some Avalanches and Blighter Ravines. We'll do some work. There's one copy of each. Probably nothing on nothing on one, nothing on two. Avalanche on three. And then sentry. And then Blight Ravine on four. Or I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh man, we need to get some more Rek'Sai XP. Rek'Sai can also just be like a, a blocker that you play on your opponent's attack round just to keep them from attacking. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. All right, combo activated. Well, not necessarily activated, but acquired. There we go. Combo acquired. I am the blade in the darkness. So hoping this just works. No shape stone, just let it work. Dang. Well, that's a lot of damage. Shapestone's still kind of broken. Um, so I'm worried about... So Blighter Ravine, like, next round is, like, the obvious thing. But, like, if I go Blighter Ravine and they just use another pump spell on the Zed, uh, I'm worried about that. Or, uh, you know, they, they protect it, then I have, like, no blockers. Ages pass. I 
Yeah, it looks like they were keeping up protection. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. I think I'm gonna have to have Rek'Sai in here to help do some blocking. Man, having Zed plus Shapestone, especially enabled Shapestone on round three was pretty rough. That was the scariest thing. This all our plans. Step lightly. They follow the wrong master. I have many faces. Right, so given that other thing double attack as well, so obviously we have to block that. And then we will just you cannot fight the cold. Block here and shapestone to kill that thing. The Shapestone isn't exactly necessary. I think I gotta hope this works. At this point, I don't think I have a better option. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Basically, retreat's just one mana right now. So, lots of ways for us to die. It takes their time. I am the blade in the darkness. Yep, that'll do it. Jeez. Okay, I think this is going to be a better matchup for us. You know, it's not Zed immediately killing us. <laughs> Man, Zed does so much damage. Alright, so let's send the Rek'Sai back. And I'm going to keep Lissandra Xenotype. We'll send the Flash Freeze back as well. We got some threes. Probably want to lead with Lissandra to get the Frozen Thrall countdown started, but they should be a... Yeah, so. Anyway, they, sh they should be a Scorched Earth deck. So that's not really reliable. will be good. Like, that's a good card to have for these Siphoning Strikes, Battle Fury, all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping to be able to challenge the Powder Keg with the Ruin Runner. And I think I'll just pass besides that. I don't know, with, the, with this deck, you know, like how they have, like, there are ways to do, like, a good amount of, like, damage to my different units. It's kind of good to keep trading with stuff, but... Wow, we hit Lurk? We hit Lurk. So therefore, Rek'Sai was on top. Get double Lurk with Rek'Sai, that's pretty nice. Glory, courage, 
excuses for war. Perfect. Alright, Rex size up to seven. Almost getting to ten by itself. You don't even need no battle fury. This deck's pretty cool. This deck's pretty cool. Sometimes your opponent just plays, you know, Zed on three and has Shape Stone and then just has more Rune Runners over Zed and just kills you, but other times get to do some cool stuff. A little surprised they did that right then. Um, and I guess I'd just trade. Right, they could have had like me challenge first and then like do that during combat. Okay, Rex I plus Shapestone now. That's gonna be 10. That's another way to make it 10. Um, they only have one mana. Oh, I guess this get, gets put back in my deck. I was, wait, yeah, that's gonna get put back in my deck. It's not like it just has ten power. I was thinking I could. I, I was thinking I was like, oh, I could wreck Shape Shapestone, then Siphoning Strike. That's not how that works. Battle Fury. I want to play the Rek'Sai. But the best move is just to attack. Alright, that'll do. Sometimes you just got a Battle Fury a yeti or a thrall i guess it's a thrall <laughs> it's a thrall that was a fun game to play though that was a good one okay looks like we got some poros could possibly be yetis i suppose but the likely thing is poros all right we're gonna keep the blighter ravine that was pretty cool lurking the rex eye we didn't get to you know didn't get to do the cool Rek'Sai stuff because, you know, we just had lethal with Battle Fury. Battle Fury just ends games. That's just what it does, but... It was going to be cool. Alright, cool. Everybody in chat's doing pretty good. We got... Saigoomba's going hiking. Event Horizon's going to be cleaning today. Good productive Sundays. Alright, so this was... Lonely Poro, then Lonely Poro. So they have two one-cost random Poros in hand. Ages pass, yet I remain. Meigs. <laughs> Today you grow another year older. Hey, happy birthday there, Meigs. Happy birthday. I'm going to just pass here. We could we could attack. They block with their 2-3. I shape stone. I don't know if that's worth it, though. I'll just pass. Yuck. Oral Snacks is always the best card. <laughs> Trust me, they add up. Okay, not another Poro Snacks. It's kind of good, I think. They are being patient. like my options. I don't know. They're out there. I'll spot them. I don't love playing this before Ravine, but I also don't really love playing Ravine right now. I don't really love, like, Merciless Hunter just kill this Poro Herder. 
So three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it just doesn't really do anything right now either. I don't really have anything to do. We love it when they run. What have I told you? Stay out of it. Okay, so it doesn't seem like they have another Poro Snack, so that's good. This was not one of the two Poros that were created by the those other Poros. They have two. Stay out of there. They have two random Poros still. Like random, like so. Out of these five cards, two of them are random. One cost ones from uh, this thing. Whatever the first part of this, not the jubilant. Lonely. I'm the lonely Poro. What they just discard? Sinister? Okay, so they have one random one left. And... This Daring Poro. So we know two of the four cards. Wow, they just drew... They just... You know, that was the card they just drew, and it was elusive. That's unfortunate. I think I'm going to try to kill that. Oh, but then I don't get to Blight Ravine. One man short for that. Why would you just... You will do as I command. Hmm. I think I'm Fury of the Northing right there if I'm them. Get that extra three damage in. I can barely keep up. I keep not being very happy with Blighted Ravine. I continually am not very happy with Blighted Ravine. But we do have all the avalanches in our hand, too. So, okay. Uh, can't make any Poros next there. That's good, but... But it's just, it's how it just always, and, you know, you can never use spell mana for this, and it never affects the board immediately. I'm always very unhappy with this card. It's a good draw. Still dead. You can find Entomb one, Flash Freeze another. We're still dead. Yeah, Blighter Ravine. Because I can't Blighter Ravine and Entomb and Flash Freeze. I can Blighter Ravine. I guess if I would have Blighter Ravine right there, I guess I could have Blighter Ravine, Blighter Ravine, and Flash Freeze. The ice is melting. Who knows? Maybe they play another thing. Uh, I don't think this keeps me alive. I am not a fan of Blighted Ravine. Not a fan of this card. I probably just didn't, you know, like, obviously the, you know, going for with this, the Siphoning Strike didn't pay out, you know, like maybe if I would have gone, you know, done the Blighter, the other Blighted Ravine the round before, but I don't know. I don't necessarily think it would have. Right, like they waited for me to play Merciless Hunter, and then I don't have Blighted Ravine mana anymore, and then they get to just, you know, play all those things, and if I would just have Avalanche, Avalanche would have worked out great after the Merciless Hunter. So basically, if all three of those Blighter Ravines were just Avalanches, I think we fairly easily win the game, but they're Blighter Ravines and we lose. So Pike Rexai. This is the kind of matchup where both Avalanche and Blighter Ravine would be pretty good, I think. I like having the, the Ice Hill Archer, that's good.
Yeah, Rek'Sai... Um, Rek'Sai is incredible when you level it up. When you level up Rek'Sai, it does lots of damage and has Overwhelm and all that kind of stuff. And so we are a Battle Fury Rek'Sai deck. That's a good draw. I was planning on playing the Iceville Archer right here. But that's a good draw. That worked out well. Get a good two for one. Never turn your back on the sea. Hmm. Winter, take you. So frostbiting that thing to make them, <laughs> yeah, to, to try to incentivize them to attack with the pike. Yeah, they are not doing good lurking. You could be better at lurking. The price of ambition. Yep, that'll do. Miss both lurks. Alright, back to 500. Two and two. Okay, we got lurkers again. So if we can you know, win this, we'll get a nice three and two, get a good winning record for ranked. It's always good. I don't think it's going to be as easy as it just was. That that one, our opponent was very unlucky, and we had a good hand. All right, but I like this hand, though. I think this works out pretty well. Now, is Blighted Ravine going to kill stuff by round five? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just going to get rid of that card, actually. Okay, we got a Rek'Sai. And Bladder Ravine comes back. I don't think they will miss their Lurk. They did not. Just hoping they don't hit Pike. Right, like that's the... That's the only thing. Just don't hit Pike. In case they got the free attack. Want to get this body out here. Good draw. Mm. Play Alessandra. I guess they get to challenge with the hammer fin, hammer snout, and I guess I don't get to block the hatchling. How do I do this with like with these rex eyes? I want to like play one rex eye and then like champion spell. Another rex eye. Ravine and Avalanche. We know this card is Snapjaw Swarm. And we know they have another Lurk card in hand. All the time. So I think they want to play the Snapjaw Swarm. I think that was their plan, how they just put something back on top that they want to Lurk. But this is going to... Um, yeah. I'm gonna punish them for doing that. Okay, Blighter Ravine, you did something. Basically, so they got all their cards there, a couple of random followers. A 5 6, eh? Arda's gonna make a meal of them. That thing's big. Rek'Sai on top. The watchers. We'll get our legs in. I 
I guess to be honest, this is probably better just to challenge this thing with the Rek'Sai. And trade there. Another vulnerable one? Nah, not the vulnerable guy. Okay, let's... So it's going to turn into 5 power. I guess 6 power, isn't it? Maybe I should have challenged with Merciless Hunter and hit for 6, but they just take it and then they have the 8-6 coming back. I like the Ryan Negation draw, that protects against Pike. We're always scared of Pike. Definitely considering just playing Rek'Sai to try to block to block that thing. I guess that's what I'm doing. There's other options, you know, block with four power and then and have avalanche afterwards, but I think this is the thing to do. Okay, not a pike right now. Definitely glad not a pike. Okay, it's another Rek'Sai. This one's a fighter. All right, so we know they have Rek'Sai on top. Find a way to deal with Rek'Sai. Frostbite. Very good. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. Frostbite. We're gonna miss the lurk. Well, that's alright. die and we're looking good all right they did lurk and I kind of hope I hope that it's Pike, right? Like, I actually want them to have Pike on top because I have the right of negation to stop it. Oh, what a draw. That'll do. All right, there we go, GG's. Okay, three and two. The Frost God rule the Freljord. A couple good Frostbite spells against Rek'Sai. So there we go, something different here. Rek'Sai, Lissandra. You know, like, it's it's not easy to find different places to play Rek'Sai outside of a Lurk deck. And I think this was a very respectable place for Rek'Sai, being able to combine it with Battle Fury. We only played five games, you know? We didn't get to do, like, that, that really cool combo with those two in any of the five games. But we did get to do some just kind of good Rek'Sai stuff just in general, right? Like, being a, it was like a three-mana 6-6 six, six blocker you know, a couple of times. Like, we got to just play it and block, and it's huge. And that just helped you stay alive, and so that's good. Um, we also got to, you know, lurk a Rek'Sai um, on top and get, you know, plus two, plus zero for that uh, on it. And then, um, you know, then have a Siphoning Strike to make it seven. 
you know, so like the Lurk made it five, Siphoning Strike made it seven, and then a plus three plus one from a Shapestone would have been ten power, but we uh, killed our opponent a little too fast with Battle Fury and uh, Thrall before that. But I like the tech. That was, it was really fun to play, honestly. Like this was, you know, it was just different, and there was just a lot of cool cards, and you just have a lot of flexibility in your game plan, and um, and uh, and therefore I, I liked what we had going on. You know, we lost our first one to Sivir Zed, where they had, you know, four champions, right? Like two Sivers, a Zed, and a Ruin Runner, and then they also had um, a Shape Stone to be able to help protect. And like that Shape Stone that they had was was the card that won the game, right? That. They had round three Zed, we Avalanche, they shape stone, now it's six power twice, you know, you hit for 12, and that's the game. Um, but besides that, everything else was pretty cool. That was a fun deck to play. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Um, you know, maybe I could probably could have done better things against that Poro deck, you know, maybe I could have... Um, prioritized Blighted Ravine earlier, more often, maybe stayed alive a little longer... Who knows? Um, you know, so, you know, it could have been a mis, you know, misplayed game there. But overall, it was fun. And so, yeah, so go ahead and try out Rek'Sai in a different deck, in a non-Lurk deck. All right, but that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.